want to do in life because I don't know. I, again, I'll come back to uh, terminal states. I think about what I want people to say to my kids and to my wife at my funeral. And I want them to say, he was a great guy. He was a good, nice guy. He, he poured into me. I'm a better person from knowing him. He took some risks. Some of them worked out. Some of them didn't, but I'm so glad he came into my life. And then that just informs how you act all the way on the way back. And if I just act in alignment with what that thought is of what I want people to say to my kids, then I think I'm going to live a good life. And it aligns your vibration. There's so many things that go about that. But I, I got to go down one rabbit hole along that that question. Why has that been lost? It seems like we're we're at such a tipping point with that. People are mm. always out to get, you know, what you know, what's in it for them mm -hmm. instead of saying, why can't I help others? You know, the old adage is, you know, you help others. It comes back to you in spades or other forms, whatever. Yeah. People don't believe that. And it's like, I think that's the biggest thing is I'm not competing against anybody else other than myself to be better each day. That's right. Well, I think social media sets up, um, you know, comparisons. And I think comparison is the thief of joy. Mm -hmm. And so.